Well, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I'm going to discuss some of my biggest regrets with building my Flutter app, the Travel Treasury app. So, firstly, let me say this video is being released on the two year anniversary of this channel. So two years ago was essentially when I started down the path of building the Travel Treasury app. At the time, I did not quite have the full idea of the app at all. I think at the time it was more of just a, a thought of, hey, I'm gonna build an app, I'm gonna start this YouTube channel. So I did that then. So say so looking back on it, a few of the regrets slash things I would do differently are, firstly, I was very uh, ambitious with the timeline. So I thought I was gonna be able to build that app in essentially a month and that didn't happen. Obviously it took me closer to like a year and a half. Either way, it is what it is. Things are going to take a lot longer, especially when they aren't your main focus and you're not working, you know, 40, 80 hours a week on it. If you are thinking about building an app or you're working on your app, it's not, if it's not your main focus, that's okay. And if it takes you two, three years to build something, that's not great. I mean, it's not, it doesn't feel great to say that, Hey, it took me like two years to build this app. I mean that it, it, it feels even less good when you look at the quality of the app and it's like not even that great of an app. So yeah, my biggest regret for, for the past two years, I guess would be the speed of getting things done. So I feel like there were, there were multiple chunks where there'd be like a month and I did nothing. And then there'd be other times where I was working on things a lot more consistently. So I think one big regret is the lack of consistency and kind of the lack of sticking to a schedule. That's part of it. But then there are also some things that I think everyone could kind of benefit from where it was kind of like I learned it by doing. And if I had known these things, the app process and the app build would have gone a lot quicker. But you need to understand when you're building your first app. And for me, this was my first Flutter app. I've built Swift apps before, but for Flutter specifically, there was a bit of a learning curve there. So a lot of things I learned building this first app in, this, in the first two years are definitely valuable. Like I don't regret, I don't regret doing this. I don't regret building the app. I don't regret any of that. And I don't regret even spending two years doing it, but it would have obviously been nice to do it quicker and learn those things quicker, which hopefully this video helps you accomplish that. So there's three main things that I wish I did differently that would have made the app build much faster. The first one, and this is probably the most important is the, design of the app and actually building out the design, spending the time building the design first and then building the app afterwards. If you followed along all the videos with the, with the build of the travel treasury app, you'll notice that the first couple of them were going off of a design. I, I did build a design in Adobe XD, built kind of a, a design of what the app would be like. And then I was following that. And then kind of halfway through, there were like these new features that I built and I stopped using the design completely and I just started building and adding things and it never the app never really actually ended up looking like the design and then at one point I kind of redesigned the whole app and half of those features didn't even make it into the new design or maybe not half of them but like a good bit of those features didn't even make it into the the new redesigned app which is the the version that's live now and if you do want to check out the app you go to traveltreasury.app and you'll be able to download it for iOS or Android. But if I had if I had spent you know two three weeks actually thinking through the design, thinking through all the all the pages of the app, and actually making high resolution mockups of those, though that would have saved me so much time because then I would have been building exactly what the end product I wanted was. So. I think it's hard to think this way, especially as a developer, to think in the way of, oh, I'm going to design this and I'm going to, I'm going to do all this design work first. But if you do that, I think in the long term, it will save you so much time. The alternative, which is kind of what I did, if you add the design at the end, you're going to have to cut out features or add new features. And it kind of is just a, a waste of time and code, really. Uh, another thing that would have made this process a lot quicker is if I spent more time reading the Flutter documentation and actually more fully, deeply understanding everything I was doing before I did it. A lot of times when you're building something new, you kind of search Google, search around, find a, maybe find a YouTube video or find a blog post of how to build this specific feature. And then you, you implement it, but then you don't, you don't necessarily fully understand what you're doing. And that is something that you should try and avoid. It's obviously always better to more deeply understand what you're doing. And really, if you just read the Flutter documentation, I feel like it is 
one of the best sources of getting that information. It is pr- it, they do have pretty good documentation, and I would highly recommend digging into that more than just going through and piecing things together or using other people's code. Even even using some of the the plugins, which are great, and there are there are some awesome plugins, but you can use a lot of plugins that aren't actually better than just writing the code yourself. So that's something that I think is going to actually slow you down over time because you're not going to have a full understanding of how your app is working because you're relying too heavily on these plugins. So that's something to consider when you're building your app, and I think it can help you speed up your process long term because you'll become a better developer. Similar to that with the documentation, the Flutter Fire documentation, which is essentially the Firebase documentation for Flutter, I did not even know of for the first half of building the app. So I was really, in a lot of ways, I was pretty lost of how to do any of the Firebase integrations. And I was kind of figuring it out as I went. And it was much harder to figure out than versus once I found the Flutter Fire documentation. And I'll link to that below. It, which seems so obvious. I mean, it's obviously there, but I did not, I didn't know of it and I didn't read it. So it was kind of like a lack of a lack of all this good information and a lack of research on my part that in the beginning really it took me a lot of time to figure out these concepts or really figure out the syntax of them because Firebase, I've used Firebase with Swift before. So for me, it was kind of, I understood the concept of it, but the syntax of it and how it works with Flutter was kind of a, a little bit of an adjustment because Firebase itself doesn't have Flutter documentation on, on the Firebase documentation, but Flutter Fire is its own site that actually does have all of that. So that is something if you don't, if you didn't know about, you should definitely look into. And really, I guess that all comes down to, to sum it up is to, is to do more research and do more, do more in-depth research about, about Flutter and about Firebase and about all these tools you're going to be using when building your app, because it will make it easier when you are going to build your app, when you have kind of more background knowledge and more of a higher overview of how things are working. So yeah, to sum up my regrets of using Flutter and building an app over these past two years, they all kind of come down to planning. So I wish I kind of planned a little bit better, planned the app a little bit better, planned the design, did a bit more research into the tools I was using. And I think all of that would have just sped the process up. Probably it would have cut the time in half, but the first but what that would have required was instead of just writing code initially, I would have had to spend a lot more time doing research and doing design work, which may feel to you like you're not really getting anything done, but investing that time in the beginning is probably going to pay off long-term more than you think. So yeah, let me know down below how long you've been using Flutter and what your thoughts are on it. Also check out the Discord server links below where we can talk more about Flutter and share some of these learning resources with each other and kind of all become better Flutter developers. All right, ciao for now.